We gotta say good morning. We wanna welcome you this morning. You know, another day of uh, refreshing, and a time of refreshing. We tell you for all of you, wherever you're watching us from, from uh, Morocco, Liberia, uh, Africa, Europe, Asia, North America, South America, Australia. Wherever you are watching us from, want to say welcome. Good to have you this morning. Let us in God's presence today. We feel you are there. We appreciate your presence. Thank you for being with us. And thank you for being a part. For choosing to be with us. And uh, following us on our broadcast. We are grateful to the Lord for you. We thank God for everything you've done. To be a part of our process. We don't take it lightly. We appreciate it. Be your every shadow of God. Thank God for you this morning. We're about preparing to go to prayers. And we trust that indeed we can have a great time today. So many a lot of information for us from the Word of God. Thank you. know we talked last week about our fast and prayer time. We'll be giving you a follow-up online and everything it is. And so we can have a great time. God bless you this morning. Invite someone uh, share. God bless you. He came from heaven to earth to show us the way.
day God's blessing. We praise Him this morning. Thank Him this morning. We worship the Lord this morning. We're still waiting for you to invite people to come on. We're still waiting for you to invite people to come on. Yeah. I'm going to pray. In the next two minutes, we'll be going to prayer this morning. Don't forget this our time. Our pastor press starts today. So we are going to be on our prayer today. We are ready for prayer this morning. Prayer this morning. Praise the Lord. Direct in every phase of us so that we look to you, the altar and the finish of our faith. 
We then believe that, Lord, that we shall have started you finish it. We thank you for being a good God, a loving God, a faithful God, a mighty God. A God we can trust, a God we can depend on. A God we can lean on, a God we can look to. I want to bless you this morning. Good day. You've done. We appreciate you. We love you this morning. We come to thank you this morning for giving us the strength to be alive and to be awakened this morning out of our bed, oh God, and to face another day. We know this is a day you've made. We will rejoice in it. We will be glad in it. We thank you for your strength this morning. Thank you for divine strength. Strength to go on. Strength to do the things you want us to do. Strength to achieve the things you want us to achieve. We want to bless you, Father, this morning. We don't have enough words to say thank you for being there for us, for being our help, our hope, our all. In the name of Jesus, we've trusted in you, we've depended on you, and you're proving yourself and showing yourself to us. And so we say thank you this morning. We bless you this morning. We exalt your name this morning. We gave you glory this morning. We worship you this morning. We say, let your name be exalted. We say, let your name be praised. Let your name be adored. Let your name be honored this morning. We present ourselves. We present our families. We present our communities. We present our, our nation. We present, oh God, this, this generation to you. We present every nation and every city to you. We pray, oh God, for maybe, oh God, your people are from every walks of life to you. We trust you this morning that you want to keep our life, to protect our life, will watch over us and keep all of us and sustain us and show yourself faithful on our behalf. We look to you, the altar and the finish of our faith. We give you glory, honor, and praise. We bless and God and give you glory. Thank you this morning. We come submitting our hearts before you. We believe that we are you, God. Nothing can happen to God. We trust in your everlasting love. We trust in your grace. We trust in your mercies. Your mercies that are new every morning. We trust in it. We depend on you. We depend on your grace. We depend on your mind. We depend on your ability. We thank you this morning. Lord, we join our faith and join our hearts to men and women everywhere as they watch and as they join with us in prayer this morning. We join them. Trust in you, God. Oh God, for your intervention. Trust in you, Lord, for your guidance. Trust in you for your move. This morning, we present this broadcast for you. We pray for the great move of God. We pray for the manifestation of the grace and the power of God. We pray that your anointing will be evident in our midst. Your anointing will be evident in our midst. Your glory will be revealed in our midst. You will touch us. You will minister to us. You will heal us. You will revive us. You will restore us. You will strengthen us. We look to you this morning. Our help is in you. Our dependence is in you. Lord, we rely on you and only you. Only you can make the difference. Only you can do a new thing. Lord, we come to you just as we are. We come pouring our heart. We come pouring our soul. We come pouring our spirit. We pray, Lord, this morning that whatever will be done in this studio, let it bless someone wherever they are. Let it touch someone wherever they are. Let it deliver someone wherever they are. We pray for youth street broken. We pray for bondages being destroyed. We pray, oh God, for liberty and freedom. We pray for restoration and transformation. We pray for healing and deliverance. We pray for the move of your spirit. We pray for the outpouring of your glory. Thank you for doing something new, something fresh, something awesome. Thank you, God, for quickening our spirit. Thank you for strengthening us away, for showing us that strong, mighty, and awesome. We look to you today, the art of the phoenix of our faith. You are God. Oh, God, all by yourself. And they don't need anyone to call you God. We bless your name this morning. We worship you, God. We exalt your name, Father. You are grateful. You are worthy. You are mighty. You are awesome. Great is that faithfulness. Morning by morning, new persons we see. While we have needed, your hands are provided. It. We bless your name. We worship you. We exalt you, God. We say, be our exalted, O God. Let your glory be upon all the earth. We look to you this morning. We depend on you this morning. We worship you this morning. We reverend you this morning. Jabaya Mare Makashia Labura Kasata. Jara Kasia Naba Katalaba. Jabura Makasi Kabara Makashina. Ramriya Katalabo Shadara Makata. Badri Sata Kashi Kata. Jabriya Laba Kasia Deva. Maku Talaba. Priya Talaba. Saki Alaba. Jaturi Alaba. Maturi Alaba. Janara Kasata Kashi Bora Makata. Sabriya Nara Makashi Alaba. Yabara Makasi Atakashata. Jabababa, 
Makia Babalaba, Asoto Kabalaba, Janere Balabalaba. Thank you, Father, this morning. We bless your name this morning. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We glorify your name this morning. We magnify you this morning. We rest in you this morning. We say we love you. We say we appreciate you. We say we thank you for being there for us. For being our hope, for being our joy, for being our life, for being our strength, for being our ability, for being everything to us this morning. Wherever you are this morning, I'd like you to lift your voice and pray. I'd like to join me in a prayer this morning as we present this day to God. That something new, something great, something powerful, something awesome will be done in our lives and in our midst this morning. That God will show up and God will manifest His glory. And God will manifest His power in our midst this morning. Lift your voice and pray this morning. Pray for the move of God. Pray for the touch of God. Pray for the outpouring of the grace of God. This morning, our lives will never be the same again. Someone lift your voice and pray. Pray this morning, Father, we thank you. We bless your name this morning. We are depending on you. We are looking to you. We are relying on you. We are resting in you. We are trusting in you this morning. We say, let your glory be revealed. Let your purpose be established. Let your plans be fulfilled. We remember your name. We thank your name this morning. We appreciate you, Father. We reign supreme. You are my Mama Mara Makashana Makatalam. Jale Bakasia Nabakasata. Jaroka Shata Kamaribana. Zanana Bashita Lamara. Zale Baraka Shanaba. Makia Shatalaba. This morning we come against every setup, every plan, every work of the evil one. Everything raised of hating the secret places to affect our life negatively. We destroy this morning. Every conspiracy, every projection, every manipulation. We destroy this morning. We scatter by the blood. We destroy by the fire. We pray for liberty. We pray for freedom. We pray for restoration. We pray for establishment in your word and in your truth. We thank you for showing yourself mighty, showing yourself great, showing yourself powerful, showing yourself awesome. In the name of Jesus, we look to you, the order and the finish. Of our faith. We thank you for doing something great, something new, something powerful, something wonderful. Jama kaba raba kasha daba raba, riya dala raba. Jama na kasha ta kasa dala raba. Jama ba 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 Jara kasha talaba, jama raba kashi tola braya talaba, mariba kasha ta kasha talaba, maki alaba talaba, raba kasha ta kasha ta, jamu raba kasha na maka maraba kasha na, jama raba kasi kaya baba, maya na talaba, maraba talaba, maja talaba talaba, jama raba kosa talaba raba kashi kaya baba talaba, maka braya talaba, maka kasha na kasha ta, we pray your God. Yeah. You are kind, you are more than what people say this morning. You are good, you are kind. You are more than what people say this morning. We rest in your grace. We pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Father, this morning, we present everyone on this line. Those that are going to challenges, those that are having problems with their prayer life, those that are having problems with their study life, those that are having problems with their commitment to the kingdom, those that are having problems with their ministry life. Lord, we lift them to you this morning. We stand in agreement. We come against every attack from them. We come against every conspiracy. We come against every setup. We destroy the plans of the evil one. Every oppressive power, suppressive power, and religious power, and every power that wants to subdue them, weaken them. Oh God. Dilute them. We destroy their power this morning. We break their influence this morning. We destroy their manipulation this morning. We pray for liberty. We pray for wholeness. We pray for stability. We thank you for showing yourself strong and mighty and awesome and powerful. We look to you, the altar and the finisher of our faith. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you adoration. You are good. You are faithful. You are mighty and you are exalted. None can be compared to you. None has ever been. None will ever be. We bless you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. You are God, and you are exalted, and you are lifted up, and you are mighty. We rest in you this morning. Thank you for showing up. Thank you this morning. Mama Shakala. Makasana la Boshaka. Ria da la Boshaka la Ria da la Boshaka. Jamora makasita kashaka jalaba. Rakasata kalaba. We thank you this morning. 
Bless your father for me with us this morning. We thank you for showing us the strong. We thank you for showing us the mighty. Bless you, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name this morning. We come to you. We are depending on you this morning. We are looking up to you this morning. Only you we are counting on this morning to do something new, to do something great, to do something powerful, to do something awesome in our midst. Only you. Only you we are counting on. Only you we are looking up to. We ask you to show up. Yeah. We long for you this morning. We desire you, Lord. Ah, the dear bands for water. I was so bent after you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my heart is yeah. Yes, 
morning. Now come as Abbey Bay Bintan this morning. Now Abbey Bay Bintan this morning. Let the blood speak this morning. The blood. Let the blood speak this morning with us. Abbey Bay Bintan this morning. The blood speak. Yeah. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak with our victims. Over every home. Over every family. Over this entire nation. This morning, let the blood speak this morning. What the blood of Jesus is speak. Oh, uh, get someone join in and say this morning. Let the blood of Jesus speak this morning. Let the blood of Jesus speak this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for this moment. Thank you, Lord. Let us speak this morning. Let us 
The blood has power. Oh yeah. Let the blood speak this morning. Whatever you are this morning. Let the blood of Jesus speak over you in your ministry. And everything about you this morning. Oh, 
shall you see and he let you just see everything being uprooted, everything being crushed in a day. Imagine about 500 and some more people die in a day. Can you imagine that? In one nation. In one nation. I mean, is it not to send shock wave to you? Is it not to send something down your spine? Is it not to disorganize you? And even fear overtaking that you cannot even stand it. You have a reason to do that. Like I said on a, I think Saturday I said, you have the right, on Sunday they said, you have the right to be to fear when you face a situation, but you don't have the right to stay in fear. So your fear can take over you when you come across it, but you are not permitted to stay in fear. Because the Bible says fear has torments. And I pray today that whatever fear is tormenting you, that the Lord deliver you from that fear. And that fear be expelled from your life. That fear be expelled from your family. Be expelled from your atmosphere. From wherever it is operating. I command that fear to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says they were hope that all miners of evil, all miners of evil. Then the Bible says, in their distress, in this predicament, in this terrible time, in this challenging time, they cry to the Lord. They cry to the Lord. They didn't look at their ability. They didn't look to the international community. They didn't, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the international community helping us. But I want to know that they are not the solution to our problem right now. We thank God for them being a channel of blessing to us. But the problem we are facing right now, if God doesn't help us as a people, forget it. Nothing is going to happen. Hallelujah. We are going to be completely devastated and eliminated. There's going to be a terrible catastrophe. Great nations and great states will go with good health care. Some of the number one and sophisticated class health care are disintegrating and crashing under the weight of COVID-19. You can imagine our nation, which is a terrible world nation, uh, the strategic pool, we are most of the poorest nation that in the, uh, 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 in the world. Can you imagine that? A great nation, developed nation, sophisticated nation are crouching under the weight of COVID-19. Imagine our nation that doesn't have what it takes. That even without COVID-19, we're already having problems with our healthcare system. So you can imagine what will happen to it. will be a catastrophe. But we thank God for God this morning. Can someone tell me thank God for God this morning? The Bible says in their distress, they cry to the Lord. And this morning, I want to let you know. To deny the fact is madness. To deny the things that are happening around you is a sign of insanity. Yes, we realize the fact, but I want to let you know that when Israel drew near the gates of death, when they performed themselves in the state in which they found themselves, they did not look for physical help. The Bible said they cried to the Lord. And wherever you are this morning, I ask you to cry to the Lord. I ask you to reach out to the Lord. I ask you to ask the Lord. I ask you to submit to God. I ask you to reach out to your maker, the altar and the finisher of your faith. Hallelujah. Oh yes. The one in which you say in Psalm 34, that they looked to him and their face were radiant and not covered with shame. Oh yes. David knew when he said in Psalm 24, 23, I mean, he said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside still water. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for that out of me. That rod and that star, they come from me. That prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. That anointed my hands with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. David understood when he said in Psalm 27, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be my friend? When even my foes and my enemies, when they came against me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though war may rise again, my heart shall not fear. Though a cannon may come against him, even then will I be confident. For one thing have I desire of the Lord, and that way I seek after that I may behold the beauty of the Lord, and that I may inquire in his temple. For in the days of trouble, he shall hide me 
I see the Lord hiding you. I see the Lord hiding your family. I see the Lord hiding your community. I see the Lord hiding your nation. I see the Lord hiding your city. I see the Lord hiding you. I see the Lord taking charge this morning and taking control and bringing a chain and a restoration and being a shield and a defense. Can someone say this morning, oh God, hide me. Hide me in the, what would you hide in the days of trouble? We are in troubling days. You need God to hide you. God, may you hide your people. Hide your people. Hide your people. Hide your people. Hide us, oh God. Hide us, oh God. Oh, he knew when he said in Psalm, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, it's my refuge and my fortress. Let the Lord be your fortress. Let the Lord be your stronghold. Let the Lord be your defense city. Oh, Makalabashada. Let the Lord be your mighty tower. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. May you find city in God's shelter. Ah, in the tower of God. This morning, I hide you in the tower of God. For the name of the Lord, the name of Jesus. Ah, which is a mighty tower, a strong tower. Hide you, keep you, protect you, shield you, watch over you and sustain you. Oh, the name of the Lord. 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 This morning in the name of Jesus. I neutralize every negative atmosphere around you. In the name of Jesus, I destroy every projection in your atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, and by the blood of Jesus, I spread the atmosphere over your family, over you, over your community, over this nation. I draw the bloodline, and I decree this morning that there shall be no escalation over this nation and in this nation. I decree and pray this morning that there shall be no death. We pray that there will be no death. We pray that there will be no death. We decree that there will be no death this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for security, divine security over our lives, our families, and everything about us. We pray divine security this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we can never your people everywhere. You hide us. You hide us. But in the days of trouble, you hide us. You hide us in the secret place of this pavilion. Then shall our hands be exalted above our enemies. Oh, yes. You hide us. You hide us. He so said that distress they cry to the Lord. The cry to the Lord. And he answered them. He answered them. The Bible said he answered them. God will answer us. As we take time in prayer in the days ahead, God will answer us. God will answer. God will answer you. God will answer me. God will answer us. He will answer us. Because the Bible says, two of us shall agree as touching anything on earth. It shall be done by our Father in heaven. So God will answer us. You are God will answer us. He will answer us. He will answer us. We'll, as we agree, as we open our spirit, as we open our heart, oh God, that His glory will be released. His presence will overtake us. His anointing will be released in our lives. In the name of Jesus, I will experience His glory. This morning, let that glory overtake us. Let that glory overwhelm us. Let that glory override us. Cry to the Bible says, He said His word, and His word. Deliver us. His word delivered them. His word healed them from them. Healed them and delivered them from their destruction. The word healed them and delivered them. The word healed them and delivered them. May God's word heal us and may God's word deliver us in this time. May no evil befall us. As we take God's word, Psalm 107, 18 to 20, Psalm 91, Psalm 23, Psalm 27. Oh, yes, and it goes on. Oh yes, as we take those words, may those words secure us. May those words secure us. May those words keep us. May those words sustain us. May those words watch over us. May those words be a hedge over us and our families. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter what storm is happening around you, may you hide in the tower of God, in the name of the Lord. May you find security in God's word that heals and that delivers and to hold today, wherever you are, I'd like to release God's word to you, wherever you want to be from. I'd like to release God's word to you today. Let the word of God be your shield. Let the word of God be your defense. Let the word of God be your protector. 
that the word will be your tower. So the righteous walk into it. They say the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. And so I want to tell you, verse 8, it says the Lord will perfect everything that concerns us. May God perfect his purpose concerning you in this time. May nothing temper with the purpose of God concerning your life. May God perfect his purpose concerning you in the name of Jesus. May your life be secure in his presence. Secure in his grace. Secure in his anointing. The Bible said in their distress, they didn't look to anybody. They looked to the Lord. They cried to him. Because it's anyone that put his trust in man. Men are only trying to blessings to your life. They are not the source of blessings. And that's how we're going to learn to appreciate God for where for who he is and allow him to have his place in our lives. As we well, don't in these kind of challenging times, what we need is intervention, is guidance in everything we do and say. We need a Lord guiding us, we need a Lord directing us. I pray today that you will rest in God, that you will depend on God, that you will look to him. Yes, him or channels will be there, but you will look to God for being the protector. As you follow the different purposes and advices that have been given us, they are good, but we're not going to depend on them 100%. Beyond them, we are going to trust the Lord. We're going to rely on God. We're going to depend on Him, that He will be our security. Because there are many people who are found that and they don't know where they made a mistake to get contaminated or to get affected. They were very careful. By the end of the day, they got affected. So, we gave you this morning. Wherever you are, we dedicate you to the Lord. We hire you in the tower of God, in the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord watch over you. The name of the Lord protect you. The name of the Lord shield you. The name of the Lord defend you. The name of the Lord secure you in a special way that no evil will come to you, your household, your community, and your nation. That the Lord, whatever is invading, whatever is ravaging, that God, as you stay in the gap and agree, that God will intervene and those numbers will begin to come down until they disappear. That healing will come. Healing winds will come. Healing wind will blow across. We release healing wave across the earth. Healing waves across the earth. Healing wave across the earth. We release healing wave across the earth. Healing wave across the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be healing of God. Thank you, Father, this morning. Thank you this morning. This morning, we ask for your glory. Wherever you are, I like you to open yourself to the glory of the Lord. As for the glory of God this morning. Let the glory of the Lord. 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 Open the center of the glory. Open the floodgate this morning, Lord. Let your rain fall on us. Samuel Shukurani, lead us in worship. Ah, let your rain this morning. In French this morning.
Hallelujah. Yeah, this morning. Yeah, the truth is the case of death. Do I hold by all manners of evil? In their distress, the cry to the Lord. The cry to the Lord. And he, he heard him. He answered him. He answered him. He answered him. May the Lord answer you this morning. May the Lord grant your request. May the Lord grant your request this morning. This morning I'd like us to take a few prayer points. I tell you we'll post the rest of the prayer points on the page for you to follow it. Amen. Yeah, this morning. Close it. This morning. Tapri. You don't know why it's about me. This morning, the first and foremost prayer I want to pray this morning. I want to be thankful to the Lord. Thanksgiving for God's faithfulness in our lives. I want to lift our hands to thank God this morning for God being faithful to us. In spite of everything that has happened in the Lord, I think we have kept us. He has sustained us in this time. He has protected us. He has brought us up to this point. So we want to leave our hands. We want to thank Him this morning for His faithfulness. Wherever you are this morning, just lift your hands as we pray this morning. Father, I want to thank you this morning and we bless you for your faithfulness in our lives as the people. We want to thank you this morning. We want to say we don't take lightly the workings in our lives. We believe that everything that has happened is because you are a faithful God. And so we honor and bless your name for that We Thank you for being the first, for being our strength, for being our hope, for being our joy, for being our life, for being everything to us. We just want to thank you this morning. We are grateful. Lord, we, we are grateful. We are grateful. Look into our hearts and see this morning that we appreciate you and we thank you for being good to us, for being faithful to us, for sustaining us. You are protected. You are provided. You are sustained. You are guided. You are favored. Lord, the list goes on. We can keep talking about your work in diverse form and we'll not be able to end it. And so we want to say thank you for being faithful to us. Even in those places where we were not faithful, oh God, you still remain faithful. We want to bless your name this morning for being a good God, a loving God, a faithful God, an awesome God, a glorious God this morning. Oh yes, we worship you this morning and appreciate your name. Your name is excellent. Your name is wonderful. Your name is glorious. Thank you this morning for your faithfulness. We bless you, O oh God. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. The second prayer we would like to pray this morning is that we'd like to seek God's mercy this morning. We'd like to seek God's mercy this morning for every act of disobedience. No law or no. Whatever way we have gone against the ordinances of God, we have slipped, we have missed it. We want to ask God's mercy and forgiveness this morning. I want us to live our voice this morning through the blood of the Lamb. Let's see God's mercy. Let's see His forgiveness for any acts of disobedience in whatever way. Father, this morning as we come to you, we come on the platform of the blood of Jesus Christ. We come, oh God, through the everlasting blood that speaketh better thing than the blood of Israel. The blood, oh God, that saved us. The blood that redeemed us. The blood, oh God, that restored us. Lord, this morning we come seeking your mercy. We say, have mercy upon us. For areas of our lives, we miss this. In our lives, we step out of course. Consciously or unconsciously, known and unknown. We say, Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us for our arrogance. Have mercy upon us for our pride. Have mercy upon us for every form of God of splendor. Have mercy upon us, O God, and the list goes on. We can mention and mention our anger, Lord, our ungratefulness. We say, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we look to you this morning. We say, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy and restore us. Have mercy and deliver us. Have mercy, O oh God, and do something new in our life this morning. We come this morning. We say, by the blood, purge our conscience. Purge our thoughts. Purge our mind. Purge our spirit. As a people, we come this morning. We say, have mercy. Say, have mercy on us, O oh God. Have mercy on us. We look to you this morning. By the blood, cleanse us. Cleanse our thoughts. Make us to think right. Make us to act right. Help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you this morning. Thirdly, this morning, we want to pray for personal rededication and renewal toward and from the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to rededicate our lives to the Lord. 
I want to, I want to ask for renewal uh, from the Lord. I mean, the Lord renew us. As we dedicate ourselves to the Lord, that the Lord will renew us in every area of our lives. Father, this morning we come rededicating ourselves to you. We come rededicating our commitment, rededicating ourselves in every way to you, God. As we seek you these coming 14 days, we say, Lord, oh God, we rededicate ourselves to you in every way. In every way, in every way, in every way we rededicate ourselves to you. And Lord, we pray for a personal renewal on the inside of us, in our spirit, our soul, our body. We pray for a new renewal, a renewal, a renewal of our strength, a renewal of our commitment, a renewal of our steadfastness, a renewal of our dedication to you, to serve you, to walk with you, to be obedient to you, God. Strength, oh God, to walk in your precepts and your principles. Lord, we rededicate ourselves and we pray for renewal. Let your glory. Let your glory override us. Let your glory overwhelm us. Let your presence overwhelm us. Let it be something new, something different, something awesome, something mighty happening in us this morning. We look to you, the altar and the finish of our faith. Do something new. Do something awesome. Do something powerful. Do something great. Do something wonderful in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for renewal and rededication this morning. Father, thank you this morning. Bless you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. This morning, I hope they would like to pray for divine guidance, for life and ministry. Divine guidance. Divine guidance. And the Lord will guide us. That divine God will guide us. He will guide us. He will guide our life. He will guide our ministry. He will guide everything about us. Father, we come to you this morning. As we come, we pray for guidance. We say, guide us, oh God. Guide us. Guide us in our personal life. Guide us in our ministry. Guide us in every undertaking of us. We submit to your leadership. We submit to your guidance. We submit to you leading us. You say, now as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And so, Lord, we submit to you for guidance. We submit to you for leadership. We ask you to lead us, guide us, and show us the way today. As we come before you, Lord, we say, guide us, guide us, guide us, oh Lord. Guide us this morning. Guide our life. Guide our ministry. Guide our family. Guide everything about us, oh God. Guide our nation. We say, Lord, guide us. We need it. Guide your church right now. Guide us in whatever we say and do. Guide us. We bless you, our God. We honor you, Father, this morning. We bless you, our King. We worship the mighty God. Let your glory be revealed. In Jesus' mighty name. Faith, we want to pray this morning for divine protection. For us, the nation, and this generation. Let's pray for divine protection. Let's pray for divine protection. Divine protection. Father, this morning we lift our hands to you. As you come, we, we submit to you for divine protection. We Lord, we say, Lord, accept the Lord, watch over the city. The lift the watchman, watch it, but in vain. We say, Lord, watch over us, O oh God. We say, Lord, watch over us, O oh God. Watch over us. We pray for divine protection on every side, in every aspect of our life. Let, O oh God, let your glory survive us. Let your presence survive us. Watch over us. Protect us from every evil. Protect us from every danger. Protect us from every manipulation. Protect us from anything that will destroy us, that will hold us hostage, that will hold us bound. Lord, this morning, protect us. Protect us, oh God, this morning. We pray for divine protection of our lives, our families, our community, our churches, our nation. Lord, oh God, this generation, we pray. We pray for your protection. We say protect your people everywhere. Protect us as individuals. We ask for God this morning. Sis of the world, pray this morning. Let us pray that the Lord will break the spell and remove the pestilence and plague of COVID-19. That the Lord will break the spell of COVID-19. He will remove this pestilence and plague. Let's pray that prayer. Lord, this morning we pray. We pray, break it. The spell of COVID-19. We break it this morning. We break that spell over this nation. We break it over our community. We break it over our lives. We break it over our families. We break it this morning over the very atmosphere they are building. We break the spell, oh God. We remove the pestilence. We remove the plague. This plague that come to ravage, destroy, oh God, that disintegrate, dismantle. Lord, we break the spell. We break it and remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. We uproot it wherever it is planted. We go to the root and the foundation of it, wherever it is manufactured, wherever it is projected, wherever it is released from, we neutralize its power. In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy its influence. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against its foes by the blood of the Lamb. We pray for liberty. We pray
plead the blood of Jesus. We 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 plead the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood that speak a better day. We plead the blood this morning. We say, let the blood speak. Let the blood speak deliverance. Let the speak, blood speak healing. Let the blood speak restoration. Let the blood speak hopeness. We plead the blood over our lives, our family, our communities, our nation. We plead the blood over the cities, over the cities and nations that are, that, that, that are being rallied to God, that are being destroyed, that are being dismantled. We pray for your intervention, Lord. Let the blood speak. Lord, we thank you. Say we want to pray. And this is where we will stop this morning. And we will continue to rest. That the Lord. That is invasion. That we block the invasion. We restrict it. And halt. It from further advancement. We block, restrict, and halt. It from its further advancement. Lord, that the blood of Jesus. We block. We restrict. And we halt. COVID-19 from its further advancement. We blocked it. We restrict it. We halt it. We draw the bloodline. We put angels on assignment. In the name of Jesus Christ. We halt it for further advancement. In the name of Jesus Christ. We command it to dwindle. We command it to go down. We command it to de-escalate. In the name of Jesus. We command it. To disappear. We block it in the spirit. We thank you, Father, for your security. We thank you for your intervention. We honor you, Father. We bless you this morning. We know, Lord, you are hearing us. And you will hear us. We thank you, God. The Bible we have asked you this morning is established. We thank you that no evil shall be for us. We thank you that your glory shall be revealed. And your purpose shall be fulfilled. Thank you for your people this morning. Thank you, Lord, for everyone everywhere. We bless you for showing your Let your name be exalted. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Amen. We're going to be posting the, uh, the prayer points on the page. Hallelujah. As soon as I get you, I'm going to give this key to tap it on the page. And you will have it there. And you can follow the prayer points. The fast has already started. We'll break. Three and six. Those of you that can make the three start there. There yeah, are some of us that will go to six. We will start at six. Hallelujah. If you can go to six, join us there. If you can start at three, start at three. Hallelujah. But we are praying for the next 14 days. And we believe that the Lord will show up on our behalf. Amen. We thank God for coming to pray for us. We are working on things here and doing our best to keep our equipment intact. Also, uh, we encourage your partnership when it comes to our data. We are using a lot of data. So we, we pray that have people join us up and down. We don't have much partners yet, but we trust that we can have more people join us and partner with us so that we keep this current. Hallelujah. We are trusting the Lord that we can introduce an evening section, but we are working on that because we're still trying to settle for the morning. Amen. God bless you now, wherever you are this morning. We we'll have to encourage you and keep in prayers. The worship is going to continue. Amen. As you are in His presence and worshiping this morning, we are going to continue in prayer. Hallelujah. I still type the uh, prayer points on the screen. God bless you this morning. Yeah. No. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Type the prayer point on the screen. Suma be.
in my time and others for it. You know how to pray me. You know how to use me. I stand up this morning. You fought for me. Lord, I fight for their God. You carry it. When some carry their God. You feed me, Lord. You feed me, Lord. You feed me, Lord. You feed me, Lord.
Partnership. God bless you. Amen. Amen. 